Father, as we join our hearts and minds together this afternoon with great gladness and thanksgiving, this is a day that uh, many have looked forward to for a great period of time. And yet we know that this date has been set in the heart and mind of an all holy God before the foundation of time. And so as we gather together here today, it is not by happen chance, it's not by the will of man, it's by the will and the grace of God. And so we dedicate this time to your glory and honor. We ask that Holy Spirit himself would invoke his presence and power and blessing upon us as we join these two together in the bonds of marriage. And just bless this day and this hour, we pray to your glory and to your honor. And we ask it in Jesus' precious name. much God. Um, this is such a blessing for both of us. Um, the moment we've been waiting for for just almost seven years, God. Uh, your love has poured on us, Lord. We've been through uh, the good, the bad, the ugly. We've gotten to the point now that we've been praying for, and it's just, it's truly a blessing. You've surrounded us with family and friends that all love us and are here for this day and we're ready to see this happen, God. You be with us uh, through this day and for the rest of our lives. I just pray that you help me to be the man that um, you've set before Shannon, Lord. Can you just help me lead her. Can you help the both of us. We're gonna go through struggles, but to just always keep our eye on you, God. To know the prize and know that we just love each other with, with every part of our body, God. In your name, amen. Connor, will you have this woman, Shannon, to be your wedded wife, to live with her after God's commandments in the holy estate of marriage? And will you love her, honor, and cherish her so long as you both are alive? Yes. Shannon, will you have this man, Connor, to be your wedded husband, to live with him after God's commandments in the holy estate of marriage? And will you love him, cherish, and obey him as long as you both shall live? Yes. When I was looking for different uh, speeches by the father of the bride, um, I, everybody, you know, most if not all of them say that they wish the, the new couples for, for, for peace, joy, wealth, health, happiness, love. But Connor and Shannon, I'm not asking for any of those things for you. There's only one wish I have for you. I wish that you would always always seek the counsel of the Lord. The reason for that is that I know if you seek for the counsel of the Lord, I know that the Lord will bless you and keep you. We now pronounce Connor and Shannon, husband and wife, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, therefore what God has joined together, let no man set apart. Connor, you may kiss your bride. I pray you both experience nothing less than God's blessing and favor. Um, I hope God continues to richly bless you both as you commit to seeking Him all the days of your life. I'm overjoyed that both of you found the one. And there was no one else before that. It was always just the one for you.